It's doll time! One seatbelt on, two, three for good measure. Is there any more? Daddy, you don't have to be like that. I'm an excellent driver. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, first, start the car. That's the accelerator button. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, it's starting. Ah! 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 Oh, wait, wait. Break it! Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Whoopsie! Ani, my insurance does not cover whoopsie. Oh, come on, Uncle. I told you. She's not ready yet. Move over, Ani. I'm the better driver. Wasn't that bad. I think my spleen is tingling. Nope. It's ruptured. What? All right, Elsie, you just have Whoa! to- Whoa! Whoa! Whoopsie! Again? Really, Elsie, you need to learn how to use the brake button. Oh, come on, Ani, it's called a pedal. It's not that bad, right? Uh, I just need to call Mikey. Oh, I guess so, but maybe you can- No! Daddy, you seem a bit distracted this morning. Is something wrong? Well, actually, I had a bit of a strange dream. You were all grown up, and I was trying to teach you how to drive a car. But you crashed it. What? I think I'll be a great driver. Oh, come on, Uncle Kristoff. I bet I was so, so good. Nope, not even close. Oh, Elsie, remember when we had those dreams and we were super obsessed of what we were going to look like when we grow up? Yeah, I know. I'm so glad we don't think about that anymore. I mean, that was stressful. I'm happy just right now. Same. Oh, Elsie, what do you think we're going to be when we grow up? Oh, Ani, just go to sleep. There's no point thinking about that. We have to live in the moment. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> All right, everybody, that's the robotics chapter finished up. I want you to complete the questions 1 to 20 on the calculus section. You can start it now in class. Psst, psst, Elsie, Elsie, will you come to prom with me? Oh, yeah, sure, Paul. Can you believe it? I know, I'm so excited. You are going to the prom with an amazing date. Now I just gotta find a dress. Huh? Prom? Oh, cheese puffs. I wasn't thinking about prom. Hold on. What? Ani! Ani! Who's doing that? Ani! Ani! Listen to me! Ani! Who's pulling my hair? Ani! Come on! Did you go to the prom with me? No! What? Chris? What? Why are you pulling my hair? That's so rude! Come on! Go to the prom with me! It's not like you're going with anybody else. <laughs> What? That is so rude and mean, Chris. Not a chance. Let's get back to our calculus, Elsie. I... Oh, jeez, Puffs. There's no way she rejected me. Come on, who does she think she is? Chris, that's no way to get a girl. You gotta charm her. Or be super nice. Pulling her hair won't make it work. Oh, do something nice. <gasps> Eureka! I got an idea! I know exactly what to do. Then he pulled my hair and said that I wouldn't be good enough for anyone else to go to prom. What? what? Oh my gosh, that's like really crazy. I know, the attitude. It's really just not nice. Yeah, I know it. What is that? What? You're just too good to be true, Baba. Can't take my eyes off of you, Ani, Baba. You'd be like heaven to go to prom with, Baba. I wanna go to prom with you, Baba. And I don't, I don't know. 
I don't really know the words, but I feel it in my soul. We're just too good to be true. And go to prom with me. So romantic! What do you say, Ani? Now will you go to prom with me? Yes, Chris, I'll go to the prom with you. Just stop singing. What? Daddy, daddy, it's all your fault. I just had the craziest dream of about when I grow up. What? Well, girls, now you know how I feel. Wait, 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 let me tell you about it. I was in high school and wearing some weird pretzel earrings. Chris kept tugging my hair and then he performed a song in the gym. And what? I can't believe I said yes. Well, Oni, well, you know, that's kind of romantic. And I always thought that you two would be good together. <laughs> what? I guess we should eat breakfast, Oni. This has been one crazy morning. Yeah. Good night, Elsie. I don't want to go to sleep. What if I have one of those crazy dreams? I cannot. I... No, I have to stay away. <sighs> oh gosh, Daddy, I'm so nervous. It's my wedding day. Don't worry, Elsie. You'll be fine. We love you and we love Paul. Take a deep breath. All right. Oh, goodness, this is finally happening. <laughs> My only daughter. <laughs> We're gathered here today to celebrate the union of Elsie Frost and Paul Newman with love, joy, and happiness. Together, we will recite the vows, beginning with Elsie Frost. Do you take Paul Newman to be your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth, in joy and in sadness? I do! And you, pa uh, Paul here is actually going to say his vows in a different way. Go ahead, Paul. Oh, what are you going to do? <clears throat> okay. I would like to perform a song that Elsie and I sang together on American Idol years ago, just when we were kids. I believe it's the true signification of our love. Love is like a hug, warm and true with you, my friend. Skies are blue, you're my buddy. Shining bright with you by my side, everything's alright. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> Ugh, give me a barf bag, please. Oh, Paul, I love you. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Not as good as my new single, but very nice. Okay, does anybody object to the marriage of Elsie Frost and Paul Newman? Oh, please, skip that part. It's not like anybody's going to actually object. What? 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 I object! I object to the wedding of Elsie Frost and Paul Newman! My whole life I've been in love with Paul! He's all I've ever wanted, and Elsie has taken him from me! Like everything else. Like, he's a cake, American Idol, prom queen! Paul, come on! We have to do this! It's now or never! What do you say, baby? Cindy, I... I don't know what to say. Other than, yes! I felt this my whole life! Let's run away! Now! Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! Now this is getting interesting! What? No! <laughs> no! Paul, come back! Uh, what? I 
it was just a dream. Great. What? What was that noise? Elsie, what's wrong? Wait for me. Whew. Finally, a nice peaceful morning. Mommy, Especially mommy, after mommy, 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 I have something to tell you. Yes, what is it, Elsie? I had the craziest dream. Wow, guys, great more. I think I left my oven on. I was getting married to Paul. I mean, I know that sounds awesome, but it wasn't that great because Luke Bryan was about to finish the wedding and then Cindy objected and she wanted to run away with Paul and it was the worst. That sounds crazy. Oh, Elsie, don't you worry. Listen, it's just a dream. It's not reality. Go get ready for school and don't lose any more energy over it. Yes, exactly. Thank goodness I don't have any of those crazy dreams. <gasps> what was that noise? What time is it? 4 a.m., that's not good. Christoph! Christoph! Uh, oh, what did I leave the oven on? Oh, it's no use. I have to do this myself. I just found her here right now. What? You literally, it was your idea to go out tonight. You're crazy, Ani. No, I'm not. I'm just telling the truth, right, Mom? Look at you. Girls, girls, stop fighting. Well, Ani, I don't think your story adds up. Why would you have a full party outfit and even your party glasses? Well, it's an outfit for work tomorrow. Oh, please, Ani. No one really believes that. Girls, it's 4 a.m., I was sleeping. You have to stop going out all night. We need to have a serious talk about this. You need to find your own apartment. You can't keep living here. <laughs> moving out? We're never moving out. <laughs> no! Hope you enjoyed, guys. Don't forget to watch our other fun videos.